Lake Nilakuti, you little beauty. Apart from the wind. Hey, you. You're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day folks, this afternoon I'm going kayak fishing at Lake Nilakuti. I'm lure fishing and I'm targeting Yellowbelly and Murray Cod. There's meant to be pretty much no wind today, but there is a bit of a breeze. Hopefully it doesn't get any stronger. Anyway, mostly everything's the same, but there is one big difference to the normal layer. But I normally do this type of fishing, so I'll do a really quick walkthrough of what I'm taking and then we'll get into it. I've got my esky, which has just got a few cold drinks and a snack in it. My life jacket, which goes around my waist. My waterproof bag with all my uh, important stuff, my keys, my asthma puffer, my spare camera batteries and stuff in there, my phone, pliers, fish grips, lures, paddle, the boat itself is a Safari H2O, and that's the Murray. Now, the thing that's different from uh, when I normally do this type of fishing is I've usually got one baitcaster reel and one spinning reel. On this occasion, I've got two baitcaster reels. This is the baitcaster reel I usually use when I come over here trolling for yellow belly. And that's got a Daiwa Fugo reel, and it's a Rex Hunt black label combo, a black label rod from the 1990s. And it's got an old mate lure on it, the smaller old mate. But I've also brought my cod rod, my Daiwa Tachula, with my Venom fishing rod. And that's because I'm going to go out there now, and I'm going to try and troll yellow belly out there around the bank in my favourite sort of spots. But then later on this evening, I'm hoping that the wind will drop off a little bit and I can flick some surface lures around the edges for Murray Cod. And that's why I've got my cod rod with me. Let's go. There's so much for a wind-free day. I'm not even going to be game enough to troll out there in the open. Righto, I'm fishing. We're trolling. Dragging the lure behind the kayak. Current time is about quarter past four, so I've got about four and a half hours. Four and a half hours of fishing time. Even if I average one fish an hour, that's that's four and a half fish. That's not a bad afternoon's fishing. Well, I've just realised that I forgot to bring a landing net. Well, I didn't forget to bring it. It's in the car. I just forgot to put it in the kayak. Oh, it's a fish. Got him. It's only a small fish, but I've got a fish. Yeah. The super spot has delivered. It's a very small fish. The lure's still even working half the time. Is that a little red fin? Look at the size of that yellow belly. That's a yellow belly. But look at the size of that. How on earth did I troll such a small fish on that old mate lure? Have a lure. See you later, mate. Go on. How did I do that? The fish wasn't much bigger than the lure. I thought I'd trolled a small red fin. <laughs> oh, I'm on the board. I said if I average one fish an hour, that'll be four and a half fish for the evening. Well, I think I just caught me half a fish. <laughs> I'm on the board. On the board. The only way is up, baby, for you and me now. Surely the next fish has got to be bigger than that. <laughs> Welcome to Lake Nilla Windy. Got him. Have I still got him? No, that was a definite fish as well. Will he come back and hit it again? That was a definite strike. Once again, only a very little one. Later on this evening, if the wind drops off, which I'm praying it does, I want to cast surface lures around these sort of rocky outcrops. There's quite a few of them on this lake, and I just, I reckon they're good looking spots to find fish just sitting in the shallows, to find cod just sitting in the shallows, waiting for food.
Got him. Another small one. Will it be bigger than the first one that I caught? Well, I reckon I've been here a bit over an hour, so I'm averaging one per hour. You've got to be joking. It's tiny. I think it's even smaller. No way. Have a look at the size of this yellow belly that I just trolled on a lure. It's not even as big as my hand. Wow, they're tiny. Where are the bigger ones? It's amazing to think that a small yellow belly that size will take one of these smaller old mates. And keep on trolling. Where are the bigger ones at? They don't even have to be big to be bigger. They've only got to be 20 centimetres long and they're still a lot bigger. <laughs> Got him. Might be a better one. Oh, dang, it's not much better, but he certainly hit harder. I think it's just... He's definitely a better one. <laughs> He's still tiny. <laughs> Unless it's a bit of a fish. At least it's bigger than my hand. <laughs> Look. We're up to probably 18 or 19 centimetres. Oh yeah, the fish are getting bigger. Like I say to Holly when we're fishing, I've only got to catch one big one to make the afternoon worthwhile. One fish can turn a bad day into a good day pretty quick. I just got out and had a stretch, had a drink, changed my uh, my camera batteries. I caught three yellow belly on my first battery. They're only small fish, but still, three fish is better than no fish. Three small fish beats no fish. Well, this nice calm bay here, it's nice and calm and protected from the wind. But I'm about to troll out past that point, then go up along the lake where it's going to be windy for a bit. Then I'm going to turn around and just go all the way back down along the bank. Anyway, let's get to it. There's not a second to lose. We're trolling. Oh, got him! That's a nice one. Am I actually even filming? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the fish is still on there. <laughs> I just finished. I'm going to say a nice one. It's still only small. I think it has hit a bit. Oh, it's a bit bigger. And I think it's a little bit bigger than the last one. That all happened pretty quick. I was just, was just on that sandbar over there where I got out and had a stretch. I just cast my line out and I was in the process of just adjusting it and letting a bit more line out. But the fish hit. I was just getting set up. I was getting my depth sorted. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Thankfully you landed up this and those you stupid fish. Hang on. I've got a drama. There's a drama unfolding. See you later, mate. <laughs> That's four on my board. Still no size, but I'm having lots of fun. Is that could have ended a lot worse than it did. <laughs> As I troll my way towards this point, keep your eye on my rod tip. You can tell by the way that it's dancing around that my lure is dragging on the bottom. So I decide to reel my line in and turn around and paddle back the other way. But as I reel the line in, a fish grabs it while I'm retrieving it. I've got a fish. I've got a fish. I kid you not. I was reeling it in to turn around. And while I was reeling it in, and it's a bigger fish than anything else I've caught today. It's a cod. Can you believe that? Am I even filming? Did I get that on film? I was, uh, I have to. <laughs> I was, I just trolled all along that bank and it was quite deep. And I just started dragging the bottom. And I thought, I'll reel it in and turn around. And I was just reeling it in. And probably even talking to myself, I don't know. Then whack, a fish hit it while I was reeling it in. How cool is that? Nice little Murray cod. And I'm going to get my fish grips out on this one because I don't want to end up with a hook in my finger if I can avoid it. I 
I'll hold it up for the camera. Now, face nice little Murray cod. Ah, oh, probably 33, 35 centimetres, I suppose. I'll get him unhooked and get him back. Well, there you go, folks. Some people might call it a fluke, but I call it pure skill. Little Murray cod. See you later, mate. That was cool. I done that down at Lake Mulwala once years ago with my mate Shane Orr. It's on my YouTube channel. I think the video is called... Oh, oops, gone out a bit far. I think the video might be called Catching Monster Crayfish and Murray Cod with Shane Orr or something. We were crayfishing and we went trolling in between checking the nets and uh, we decided to turn around. So I reeled my line in to turn it around and a fish hit it while I was reeling it in. And that's what just happened here. <laughs> that's a fish. Oh, he didn't hook up. Got him. That's a nice strike. This is right where I just caught that little cod just before. Exactly the same spot. That's another tiny little yellow belly, I think. You just hit it. Also, oh, he got off. I was just about to say he's a larger yellow belly. That would have almost been a legal size yellow belly, I reckon. So close. I don't think I would have kept it. My dad said once, with yellow belly, because the size limit's so small, 30 centimetres, if you've got to measure them, then they're probably too small anyway. And I reckon that was uh, pretty close to being about the 30 centimetre mark. That would have definitely been the biggest yellow belly this afternoon by quite a long way. So far. Biggest yellow belly this afternoon so far. I'm having a blast here this afternoon. I'm having so much fun. That's a fish. Got him. Oh yeah. Come on, don't lose this one. Don't lose this one. Keep tension on him. It's not a tiddler, but it's not a big fish. I reckon it might be similar to that little yellow belly I just lost that I said was close to legal. And that's sort of what it is. I reckon that one I just lost was a bit bigger than that though. Slow, I reckon I'm gaining about half a centimetre with each fish that I catch. <laughs> That's probably about 23 or 24 centimetres, I reckon. Oh, little yellow. See you later, mate. I'm having such a wonderful, wonderful evening at Lake Nilakuti. I'm just loving it. As my friend Camel says, I'm loving myself sick, mate. I'm loving myself sick. Check this out. I brought my cod rod with me. I'm going to tie this uh, this one well lunch on. I'm going to run it on my cod rod. It's a uh, it's a fair bit larger than the little old mate that I'm using, but it's the same bright green colour. Just in case there's a bigger fish down there, a bigger yellow belly, or maybe even a Murray cod. See my daddy in bed dying. See his hair is turning grey He's been working and slaving his life away ah, He's been working so hard Every night and every day right, While I'm trolling back through the magic run I want to talk about something Live scopes You may or may not have heard of them They're a fish finder that looks under the water And you can actually see where the fish are And you can cast your lure to it and a lot of people now are going out and using live scope technology and catching really big Murray cod. And a lot of people love them and a lot of people hate them. And I will rephrase that. A lot of people love them. I'll rephrase it again. Some people love them. Some people hate them. But I think most people don't really give a stuff about them. And that's where I'm at. People are asking me more and more often, you know, what do you think about these live scopes? I don't. Well, that's a fish. I've got a fish on here. I don't really think much about them. I'm not interested in them. They're not for me. I'm not an anti-livescaper. I don't hate them. I can certainly see the attraction to using them. I can see why people would think they're fun. I think this is a cod. I've just, if this is a Murray cod, I've just caught it without a livescape. 
<laughs> they're not for me. I'm not interested. I like to do everything as simple as I possibly can. I'm just a, an old school simple fisherman. But you know, if you're one of these people that likes livescape and you want to use a livescape, well, you don't need my permission to do that. I've got nothing against them. Another nice little Murray cod. See you later, mate. As I was saying, <laughs> The live scopes, you know, if, if that's what you want to have, if you, if that's what's going to float your boat, then good for you. That's uh, you're not going to get any arguments from me. I've got friends that use them. I wouldn't mind going out in a boat with one, with someone one day and just having a look and seeing how they work. I'd be more curious, I reckon, more than anything, curious to see fish movement and stuff. But like, I could put a fish finder in this boat, a regular fish finder. I've got deeper fish finders and kayak mounts that I can hang over the side. But there's more things that I have to install, more things that I have to put together when I'm out fishing, and I just like to keep things simple. So livescapes don't get a thumbs up from me, they don't get a thumbs down from me. When it comes to livescapes, I guess I'm gender neutral. <laughs> Sonar neutral. <laughs> Got him. It's a, it's another little cod, smaller cod, even smaller cod than the last one. Look at the size of that Murray cod. It's gone. <laughs> I was going to say, look at the size of that Murray cod. Wouldn't have been 20 centimeters long, I don't reckon. From little things, big things grow. <laughs> I wonder if a bite window is open and the fishing would be good everywhere at the moment or whether this is just a little bit of a patch just here. I don't know, but for whatever reason, there's a lot of hungry, small cotton yellow belly just in this particular spot. Well, this is the plan. It's getting a bit later in the day. I want to turn around here, troll back through this little straight where I've been catching a few fish. Then I'm going to, instead of coming back through, I'm going to turn right with the wind behind me and troll all the way back down to the bay where my car is and hang around that area. The wind is actually getting stronger, if anything, which is a bit of a concern. Do my little woman wear the ball and chain. No one to play the game. Give me that rough stuff. I'm on the rough stuff. There was something buffing that then. And again, it's tiny. There's a tiny little cod buffing me lure. I stopped retrieving it because I thought, I'm going to just hit that. <laughs> a cod just buffed my lure three times in that one retrieve. It was the tiniest little fish. There will be links to everything that I've used in this video in the video description below the video. I've had a fantastic afternoon. I only had the one tiny, weeny little buff on a surface lure and that was it. I haven't actually caught a fish for an hour and a half, but they were really on the chew for a while there earlier. I caught lots of fish, but they were all small. But that's okay, I've had lots of fun and I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all very much for watching.